So now that we have completed the topic of probability, now comes the limitations which we are going to discuss in its own probability. So probability has its own limitations. Initially to start with, we have seen that for an event E, the limitations of the probability are that P of E always lies between 0 and 1. So we have already identified this using the mathematical definitions. And also we have seen that sum of all elementary events is 1 or sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. But if imagine I take say I have different balls in this bag where one of that is big and the small balls are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are one big ball and 15 small balls. Then if I apply my probability to these kind of problems, then I think I have to search for my own limitations in defining the probability because in case of this bag containing one big ball and 15 small balls, if I say what is the probability of picking the red ball from a bag containing one big huge ball and very tiny small small balls, then it is easy to remove the big ball randomly taken out of the bag. So we cannot expect any probability or a chance here because the event is said to be certain in case of this exclusive example problem. So this kind of an example problem makes us understand on rethinking on how we limit the defining of a probability. So in this case, it is a certain event. We see that probability of picking a big ball is certain. But this is an upset to the definition of probability because any by ns doesn't give this to be correct answer. So in general if I take picking up a big ball is certain but this has its own limitation. So let's see what is the limitation. Probability cannot be applied to this kind of a problem because probability cannot be applied if each of the events are not equally likely to happen is one of the biggest question in probability and its limitations because when I define probability I need to identify that each of the event has to be equally likely to happen in this case it fails because Happening of each of the small balls, picking up all the small balls in the bag is equally likely with each of the individual small ball. But when compared with the big ball is not equally likely to happen in comparison to the smaller balls. Therefore, for probability to be applied, I need each of the balls or to be picked where each of them should be of same size, which is called equally likely to happen and equally likely not to happen is how we understand the limitations of probability connected with mathematics. So usually in many of the problems we have identified the word random selection that is a ball is picked randomly. So what do you mean by the word random in mathematics or in probability? This plays a very important role in random selection because for any probability to happen in its trueness we need to randomly select. Say for example, I have a bag containing full of balls. I randomly pick one of the ball, but I don't have any other rules or the smartness or the cheating which I apply in picking up a ball. So random selection plays a vital role in probability or calculation of probability. So whether I pick a card or whether I toss a coin or whether I pick a ball from the back or pick a card from the playing cards, I randomly select the 
card from the playing cards or I randomly pick the ball from the bag containing different balls. So random selection is very important in restricting to understanding of probability through limitations. The word random selection is applied in every problem. This is how we understand random selection.